I'm looking at the lake out here and it is so far uh, relatively calm. I got an early start. I'm launching at the east ramp uh, because I'm not going to be staying till dark. It's just before 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, every year the perch make a shallow migration. I would say when the temperature, water temperature drops down to about 50 degrees, you can find uh, literally hundreds of perch in uh, water less than 10 feet. Now, I don't know whether they've made that transition yet, but there are some little humps out there, and, you know, I'll be looking for that today. And my goal is to catch a big perch if I can. So uh, we're going to get out there and uh, give it a shot. Main lake is too windy, so I'm going to try to find a spot that's uh, sheltered where I can mark some fish off of the main lake. Looks like I might have found a good spot here near the dam. It's nice and calm. I just had a fish on. I was trying to turn this thing on. It doesn't work when you're trying to reel a fish in at the same time. Well, finally the first fish of the day on a uh, jerkbait crappy. Not a bad one. That hook came right up. There he is. Boy, I haven't caught anything all day, so that's at least something. Just let him go. There he goes. I just caught a yellow perch here. This is really pretty well sheltered from the wind. Well, all I needed was a jig to get me started. Jigging spoon, getting a couple little hits, but I think the little jig is going to do the trick here. Yeah, it can be disappointing catching a lot of small fish. On the other hand, when you have rough weather and you can find a sheltered spot and fish are biting, then you take it. Decent one, not real big, but bigger than the others. Uh, not too bad. At least they're biting now. The jig is the trick. That's such a slow fall. Another one. Little guy. What well, better to be catching than not? Let's 
see what we can do. I love this jig, that's for sure. Here's another one. Not very big. I can't get on the main lake, it's too windy. There's another decent one. Not the greatest, but you can see out on the main lake it's crazy. There's one. for catching. Next time I will not pick a windy day though. It's just not worth it. Here's another one. Little guy. care if it's cold, if it's not windy, that's fine. The wind is rough. Another little guy. They are pretty easy to catch. fish loose drag. And here comes the wind. There's one. afternoon of catching sardine perch, but for hours I wasn't catching anything, so I'll take what I have. Wrap it back down. There he is. I'd like to know where the big ones are. One big one would equal 25 little ones, I think. Or maybe even more little ones. There's another one right on the drop. Look at that. There's another one on the drop. Oh, they're getting active now. Getting active now. I'm glad I'm not in that wind. You can see how nasty it is out here. So I was really lucky to catch anything at all. Once I get around this point up here, I'll put it on full speed. So uh, here is the point I was talking about. And not too far away is the parking lot where I launched. So I'm going to crank her up full speed.
and we'll get back there. Definitely pick better weather. It's just not worth it. But the days to come are not looking that good either. The temperature's going to drop. It's going to be windy every day, just like this. So this was the warmest day uh, that we had. So. I took a chance on it. But as you can see in here, this motor is just uh, flawless. Really made a big difference for me. out there. Bunch of musky fishermen out here today. Nice calm day to catch.
Mexico. Ah. Yellow point. On the drift. Yes, sir. Let's get another. Okay, fella. There we go. Another yellow poich. Another yellow poich. Okay, poichy. I know you're little, but I'll take you. You little guy, but I'll take you. Better than nothing. Better than nothing, honey. I guess they're shallow and deep, huh? Yeah. What are you fishing for? Just perch. Yeah. Getting a big one? Nah, I was hoping I would, but they've all been small. How about you get any uh, good sized ones at all? Okay. Yeah. I mean, just a little bit bigger, and I'm taking a bowl. Uh huh. But, uh, I mean, they're fine. Yeah, oh yeah. Like nine or ten inches, something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got another one now. Ah, came off. I just had a perch on. I'm just using a jig, like, uh, with a, like, an eighth ounce uh, head. That's all. Yeah, just let it bounce on the bottom, and uh, there's another, whoops, he got off. You don't need much for them, really. There's one. Are you using uh, minnows? Yeah. yeah. Fish who? I do, yeah. Uh, it's about 20 feet right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it drops off pretty good. Yeah, I wouldn't be without it, really. So I'm out at Marsh Creek Lake. It's November 11th. Uh, it's a cold day. We had a lot of rain yesterday. It's only going up to uh, 46 degrees. Have my other kayak today. Tribe, Perception Tribe 11.5. Good little kayak, no motor, but very light and easy to get around. All right, there's the first one. Little guy. There's something anyway. There's one. There you go. This one's a little bit better. It's not much. <laughs> There's another one. There's another one there. There's one. Anchoring it in a good uh, 
anchored in a good spot here. Now the average size is not much. Here's another one. It's actually better to drift than to anchor, I think. They're all small enough. Here's one. Little guys, little guys all day. 